We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. I'm expecting the worry. What do you think? Hello everybody, so a um, bit of a progress update. Still not doing cab cam because it's uh, still a bunch of worry evil. Um, however, we have started tracing some wires. So these are all ones uh, that were coming um, from the back, uh, mainly, um, you can kind of see some of my labels here, they were cut. So um, all these wires you can see with the white tags on here um, actually went to the battery bank at the back. Um, and they've been cut off by the battery, so I'm not entirely sure what they did originally. Um, but you can see there's just wire after wire, um, which seems to be going forwards. It's coming down this wire here, and eventually heading into somewhere into this mass of wires, which is today's mission. Um, actually, maybe when it starts raining, um, <laughs> and then uh, I need to trace uh, once I find out what those ones do, see if I can work out from the Genesis um, panel um, if it will tell me. If they are Genesis, where those ones go. Um, there's another couple of bundles down here. Um, so really, these are all the wires that were coming over the cab. Um, so they've all been they've all been traced back, labelled. Um, most of them were actually um, the Genesis light switching type stuff, um, or they were unplugged um, or cut. So again, a lot of stuff was just cut or unplugged. Um, so we're still trying to trace that. We've, uh, we've unplugged the little fuse box, um, that's all the wires that was going around with the blue core um, to the back um, to plug in from the Ludo plug into the charge system. So I've left the plug on there for the moment. Having spoke to the Ludo plug guy, um, I think we are going to replace that. Um, it's just a bit overkill for the ambulance and to replace it if it does go wrong is... Is, yeah, it's, it's not worth it. So I think we'll keep the mounting. Um, we, we might reuse the hold if the new ones of a similar size rather than have to weld it back up. Um, unless there's anything else we can put there. Um, the shower outflow tray was going to be over there where the um, where the end of that is. So to be how big that cupboard is, it could also be something to do with fresh water or other water tanks. Um, as you'll notice, we've got um, much less wires going over the cab now. There's just this. Grey one, which I'm totally sure what it does, and this network cable, um, which goes to the Genesis ones in the rear. I think this is original Fiat wiring. Um, it seems to go over um, and up, and then comes down and, and down this pillar to the switching. So I suspect that's something to do uh, with the door and the door switching stuff. Um, whether I can get that to work again, that's, <laughs> that's another kettle of fish. Um, but again, you'll see there's a lot less wires now. Going over to the back, um, what I've done with the ooh, with the network cable is I just unplugged it and I've plugged it directly um, onto those Genesis units. So what you'll see here, again, it looks like a mad mass of wires. What we've done is we've traced each wire, um, labelled it, and it's going back to each Genesis unit plug. Um, one of them actually managed to remove completely. Um, so this was, uh, which one was that? That was Genesis Unit Bank 3. Um, so that was going into that one there. Um, so, which is this Bank 3? Sorry, yeah, Output Module 3. Um, that was slots 9 to, 9 to 16, so it went in here. So this was all my spotlights, roof lamps, um, extractor fans, that sort of stuff. So again, we, did, we traced it back. Uh, made pretty sure we knew which one was. So we got a good idea. Um, the output module numbering address system, the label to where the plug is doesn't entirely seem correct um, either. Or I've got about 17 incubators in here, um, so we're still trying to work out the last bits. Um, again, there's still a few wires heading off up yonder um, from down here. Some of them are from this uh, distribution board. And now, again, I'm trying to reverse engineer all this. Luckily, some of them are labelled. It looks like this was pulling the power and all the relays and switching. Um, so coming off the battery banks and um, we've got a plug over there as well which is the um, the air suspension up down um, 
and some bits and pieces for the, the switching um, for, for the ramps and things like that that I need to trace back through um, so yeah still a few wires to do but we are getting there lots of what labeled wired bundles which hopefully we can start getting out of the way and then whoop, again the other side so there's a lot less coming down here now um, this black and white one which if I can get to focus it just seems to be going down that is going down into the rear um, light cluster right down here so there's something, there's something going on in there and I think there's also a speaker going a wire going down to the speaker which is what another one of these ones are so when you put it in reverse um, it's got a trigger on it that, that puts off the warning thing so um, I'm not entirely sure if I need that for the MOT so I need to double check on that but all in all there's significantly less wires than there was um, although it was a few weeks of really slow progress um, hopefully that's kind of laid the foundation for, for for the last week getting things out and then I'm not sure I've shown it before, but this is this is the remains of the ramp and all the switching gear and things for that. So um, throw the ramp, the um, the winch. So uh, I need to I need to find a home for that in a box in the garage somewhere. Until we work it, if we're going to use it again or not, but I suspect probably not. And uh, here's my uh, here's my bucket of wires. So she she's getting uh, she's getting nice and full up now of copper. So um, any ideas of what we can do with a load of copper other than sell it? And we're trying to work out if we could make an ornament or something out of it to put on the van um, the Camelance logo made of copper and the wires that came from it <laughs> something it's a bit random like that just to uh, just to keep it in the van so kind of a quick update um, well one thing I did have as well when else was doing this uh, luckily I had this here you'll see there's a nice little pool of water um, what happened is when I took off the lining here um, this this was on came it was just hanging down when we had the really really heavy rain apparently it was just enough to pull on top of there um and leaked its way in so um yeah that's kind of annoying um but i just want to make sure as well it wasn't it wasn't pulling and coming out of this this thing here it's never felt wet so i don't think it is but um yeah i need to have a bit of play with that and actually just looking at that i need to um paint that off before we get to winter anyway that's an update on the worry madness um hopefully soon we can start Taking some of that out. I hope everyone's well. Ciao.